Hey folks, this is Saurav here from Take Care and welcome back to our channel. And uh, today I will be giving you my full review about this Tag Inferno Bluetooth headsets. Well, as we all know that we got it as a review unit and we unbox this product. So what's inside the box, what you wanna get, how, how many earbuds are there to know all these things. The cards is in here, the video, the unboxing video will be here or in the description, make sure to check that. And yes guys, I've been using these headphones for quite a long time. So now the time has come to share my experience with you all about these headsets and how they uh, uh, fare in the case of audio output and how the usability is. So guys, uh, before uh, telling you how the audio quality was, how it actually fared in the actual game, I'm gonna tell you how the buttons actually work. So guys, uh, the right headset, the right part of the headset that goes in your right ear actually has all the functionalities. It has got a one home button that actually does almost all the work. Well, what happens well, if you want to switch on your headset, you just have to tap the home button for five seconds, your phone gets switched on. And how to pair with a phone, the, that, uh, that instruction is also in the, I mean, the unboxing video, make sure you check that. And one more thing guys, let me again tell you, uh, the volume buttons uh, actually work as, uh, you know, playing the next, uh, playing the next song. If you press the plus volume button for around, for quite a long time, it will go to the next song. The minus volume button, pressing it for quite a long time, will take you to the previous song. For in case of uh, receiving calls, just tap on the home button, you tap it once, the call gets accepted when someone is calling you. If you want to call uh, someone whom you have just called, tap the volume button twice, and yes, then you can easily uh, go, uh, you can easily call that person from that headset only. And yes, one more thing guys, while you are playing a song, just tap on the home button once, the, the music gets stopped or paused, and then you again tap on the home button once the music gets played so that's how it works in case of buttons so guys after uh, telling you what you can do with the buttons now coming to the audio quality and my experience so i have used this headset for almost all the devices that i have got in my hands the eureka the k6 power from lenovo the redmi 3s prime the redmi 4 and with my lumia 730 well if you don't know i use a lumia 730 as my primary device and it worked awesome with all those devices no issue whatsoever and connection was pretty good in case of the k6 power only only k6 power i uh, somehow felt the connection was somehow distorted for but that happened only once or twice i don't think that's the issue of this headset that might be the issue of the k6 power itself but otherwise i do face not a single issue with the connectivity i even uh, kept my phone in one room and went to another room and the audio quality the connection was stable no issues whatsoever in that case so this is how it goes about the connection and one thing that i really like to show you that i got only in the k6 is that uh, if you look at the uh, uh, about the uh, notification status bar you will see the uh, just beside the wi-fi logo you will see uh, a bluetooth charge and it will show that how many how much battery is left on the uh, on this uh, on this headset so yeah uh, in case of the K6 power, this only happens. I haven't seen it with uh, the Redmi 3S Prime or the Redmi 4, but in case of the K6 power, it happened and I shows you that. I show you that. Well, guys, I'm talking about uh, the audio quality. The audio is actually pretty good if you are listening to good quality music. So yeah, if you are listening to a 320 kbps or 182 kbps, you will definitely get awesome uh, output from this headset. One thing I would like to tell you that uh, with even with my Lumia 730, with even a uh, different kind of uh, equalizer, it performed really well. But the best sound output that I got was from the K6 power. Yes, from this one, I got one. Uh, I I have just one thing to tell you. It has a it has got a Dolby Atmos equalizer, and I uh, almost uh, you know did all the things that I can do with the equalizer and it, re it really reacted pretty well so uh, even after that uh, it really responded pretty well with those equalizer and uh, from uh, sufi to rock uh, to rock to even metal core i don't face any kind of audio distortion the audio was you know pretty well the audio quality was pretty well and in case of noise cancellation i travel to a lot of uh, public transport train bus etc and yes uh, the while listening to audio while listening to music the audio cancellation was good but it is quite obvious i didn't face any kind of other noises coming to my ear but while uh, this phone doesn't have active noise cancellation and that's pretty obvious and one more thing the weight about the headset well bluetooth headset doesn't not always about the looks it always about the weight and yeah, yes it has got a, you know you can see a rubberized hanger i would say and it actually goes in here and keeps your uh, headphones headsets in the place and you don't feel that kind of weight 
and one more thing about the battery backup i got around six hours to six and a half hours of battery backup and that i feel that it's pretty much uh, uh, expected i don't expect it even more and even in the box they have said that it got around seven hours of battery backup so yeah that's pretty obvious and talking about few more things about the charging i give you a warning if you are gonna buy a bluetooth headset like this one in the very first time don't charge this uh, headset with a normal phone's charger use your mobile or laptop's uh, charge i mean usb charging cable and usb port just charge through that port because this kind of headsets doesn't have that of capability of taking a one ampere output charger so this kind of uh, headset just take about a one 100 mAh to mAh to 240 mAh charger but those kind of charger is not available here i used with my uh, computers a uh, usb charging port i mean usb port and also i had a dedicated uh, charger of a previous uh, headphone uh, bluetooth headset so i used that one so if you're gonna planning to buy this one do buy a dedicated charger or do use your uh, pc or laptop so this is all for today guys and again i'm telling you this uh headset is actually for buzz lovers although it has got a, a perfectly tuned perfectly balanced audio quality but there is a slight amount of buzz in there and i really love that fact because i am also a buzz lover so this is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video till then bye people have a great day hope to see my next video and stay awesome stay subscribed bye bye now